Good morning. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day so far. So as you can see from this title down here, um, today is my first ever attempt, and I'm gonna use that word very literally, like attempt at doing a vlog. I have always enjoyed watching other people's vlogs. I watch Leanne Says vlogs, and I watch Casey Holmes vlogs, and I like watching um, Rob Beauty Christie whenever she does her vlogs. I never in a million years thought that I would actually do a vlog, because honestly, and I'm just gonna be real, I never thought that my life was interesting enough to put out there where other people would be interested in watching. And that's just me being real. Like I wake up in the morning, I take care of my animals, I make the bed, I clean up, I sit down, I drink a Dr. Pepper, and I look at TMZ for about 45 minutes. Like that is sort of my guilty pleasure. First thing in the morning, I have hair going into my mouth. Um, so I never thought that anybody would wanna sit there and, and, and watch what I do throughout my days. You know what I'm saying? So this morning I woke up and I was like, damn it, I think I'm gonna give it a try. So this is very spontaneous. Like I, I have my iPhone, I don't have a vlogging camera. I have a small little tripod here and I just wanted to give this a shot, you know, to see if anybody would actually be interested. So I do actually have a lot to do today. I can't leave. <laughs> um, we're under, and, and I haven't told anybody this, apart from like very close friends and family, Nobody on social media knows this. Nobody on my Facebook page knows this, uh, personal and professional. Um, but my daughter, my youngest daughter, tested positive for the coronavirus. So we are under a mandatory quarantine, of course, because you know we probably are carriers. Um, I haven't been 100% since this all happened. She's been under quarantine for a week today and she's been infected for a week today. So the first day that she got tested positive, it was pretty rough. She first started off with like the body aches and well actually it started with diarrhea, um, which is way TMI. So I'm sorry if y'all are not interested in hearing this, but she started off with diarrhea and it was, it was, um, it was rough. She really complained of, of having a lot of stomach pain. And then it started with the body aches. She kind of felt like she was getting the flu. And I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this is not good. So um, she started running fever and then we took her to um, get tested where she tested positive. So long story short, we are under a mandatory quarantine. So um, we can't leave. I can't go shopping. No Walmart trips for me. <laughs> I love going to Walmart and seeing all the new stuff that they have out, but um, I can't do that until November 10th at the very least. So if we start, you know, getting sick and stuff, then we're gonna be quarantined again. Um, so anyway, I haven't let anybody know that uh, apart from uh, my best friends and, um, and of course, uh, close family members. Um, and, and that's just how it is, you know? Um, but I do have a lot to do today, so I haven't even made the bed yet, which is rare. Like, I usually make the bed first thing whenever we get up in the morning, but I have a lot to do. Amos has been, like, super, if you don't know who Amos is, Amos is my, my potbelly pig. He sleeps on the side of our bed, usually from about midnight to 10 or 11 o'clock a.m., and I just put him outside, so that's why I'm sitting down in front of my bed doing this vlog. So... This is my closet right here. I have a lot to do in there. I need to organize, I need to declutter, I need to get rid of some stuff, I need to make the bed, I need to clean this room. Well, you know, it's not really that dirty, but I'll need a vacuum and dust and stuff like that. Little known fact about me, I clean every single day. <laughs> I usually like to have everything nice and spick and span and orderly and organized and it just is not like that today. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Um, I'm going to try to get some outside time today so I might, go take a hike, we have some woods in the back and I might go do that today. I have to edit, um, what else do I have to do? Just some little odd and end things. So if y'all are interested in <laughs> watching this vlog and seeing what my life is on a day-to-day -day basis, taking care of the chickens, taking care of Amos, taking care of the pets, then welcome, <laughs> please continue watching. 
All right, y'all, so now it is time to start getting some stuff done. As you can see, my bedroom is a complete disaster zone. I have to pick up Amos's little sleeping pad right here. So as I mentioned before, he comes from his bedroom right here and he wants to be tucked in with his pillows and his blankets every single night. So I need to pick that up. I need to make the bed. I need to sort out the pillows. I need to vacuum and dust this area. And I also need to organize this closet. So if you notice the paint swatches on the wall, that's because we're gonna be repainting very soon. So please don't mind those. Um, but I need to organize this closet. So the shoes, I need to put them in their place. I need to declutter some of those. I need to organize some of these clothes right here, this on this uh, ironing board. And then I need to go through these clothes and try to just make them look a little bit nicer. I need to wash Amos's blankets and his bedding. So I'm gonna do that. So yeah, let's get started. All right, y'all, so now is the time we're gonna start working on the closet. I apologize for the bad lighting. I have light coming at me from this way and not from this way, so you're gonna see my 40-year-old skin is just gonna be what it's gonna be. Anyway, so this is the shoes that we're gonna be organizing today. I have shoes in another closet that I'm gonna worry about another day, but this is going to be what we're gonna be tackling today. So I got shoes up here that you really can't see. So mainly these are the shoes that I wear on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of these I feature in try-on hauls, like these, these are those Kelsey Dagger Brooklyn um, platforms that I feature a lot because they give me a lot of height. They make my body look nice and long. So I do feature those quite a bit in my try on haul videos. But most of these, generally speaking, are shoes that I just wear day to day and, you know, just comfy, regular um, type of shoes. Then I have shoes that are down here. I have shoes in another bin right here. Now, this was a double decker setup that I had gotten from Walmart, um, but Amos decided that I didn't need it anymore. <laughs> So he came in here and then nosed it and it tore all the fabric and it just ended up collapsing. So eventually I want to change all this up and make this really kind of streamlined and organized and really nice. But I don't know how I'm going to do that with Amos because he is very, very strong. And whenever he decides that he wants to do something, there's not a whole lot of stopping him. So anyway, we're going to organize this. I'm going to declutter some of the shoes up here. I'm going to organize these bins. I got these from the Dollar Tree, I think about six months ago, and they're pretty decent little shoe organizers. I'll just show you really quickly. The only complaint that I really have is the top of these. So the only way that they shut is with this little like very thin plastic piece. And I don't really like that. So eventually I do want to upgrade. But, you know, they're a dollar. It is what it is. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start getting busy <laughs> with the shoes. And then I'll turn y'all around and um, start decluttering and organizing the clothes behind you. <music> So the shoe area is pretty much organized the best that I could do right now I do have a couple of things that I need to tweak here and there But I'll probably do that off camera later on whenever I get all of this other stuff situated But I do have a couple of shoes that I wanted to show y'all that I am decluttering So I'll do that right now. So the first pair that I'm going to declutter are these slippers. These are the bass shoe uh, slippers that I featured in an Amazon haul a couple of months ago and these have been actually very very well loved and comfortable. Um, my husband has used these. My kids have used these. I've worn these of course. I featured like several videos of these and um, the problem with these are that my dogs love to chew them. So they have chewed like the mouth of the fish 
just really really bad so they just gravitate towards these so I'm just going to get rid of them. I was going to um, donate these but I don't really think that anybody's going to want these and they are pretty chewed up um, so I think I'm just going to throw these away. The second pair of shoes that I am getting rid of are these old camo vans. I've had these since like 2016 or something so it was like a purchase after the flood. And I just don't wear these. I don't use them. They're like a little bit on the muddy side. So I am just going to donate these. I'll wash them before I donate them, of course. And then the next pair is probably some that you're going to recognize if you've been following my channel for a while. So these are Walmart um, combat boots. So these are the Time and True, I think. Yeah, these are the Time and True combat boots with the laces. I have loved these for a really long time, but the sole is starting to come up, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these. I will go ahead and donate them because I'm sure somebody out there could use them and want them and get a lot of use, a lot of more use out of them than I can. And then I'm also getting rid of these slides. These are some Hilfiger slides and the dogs have chewed them. So <laughs> I'm going to get rid of these. These were actually my daughter's and she left them down here. So I'm um, just going to go ahead and donate those or declutter those for her. And then the last pair are some Walmart flip-flops. These are like the 99 cent flip-flops that uh, my husband got and he doesn't need to know <laughs> that I'm going to go ahead and, and get rid of those. So yeah, that is all the shoes that I'm going to donate and declutter. So now let's go on to the clothes. So I'm going to flip you around and then we're going to kind of go through stuff and then I'll meet y'all back here in a couple of minutes and we'll go through the clothes that I'm going to declutter. Be right back. y'all so woo I just finished organizing all the clothes on my rack I have it nicely color coordinated I'll show you the finished product in a second I also got finished the entire heaping pile of clothes that was on my ironing board so I have everything organized and I want to go through these really quickly and show you what I am decluttering I have a family in need in my local community who I'm going to donate these clothes to or um, if I don't want to donate to them specifically then I'll donate to a church so that is how I'm going to declutter I'm not just going to send it to Goodwill or you know one of those clothing bins. I want to make sure that it goes to somebody in need. So um, really quickly I just want to go through these. I'm not going to go into specifics or whatever. I'm not going to tell you sizing or any of that what I usually do but um, I'm getting rid of a couple of pairs of jeans. So these are those stripy jeans if you remember my fashion to figure video. Oh it's been I think about a year ago. I'm getting rid of several of those pairs of jeans because they were way too big for me. Um, they weren't big at first, but whenever I wore them throughout the day, they really just stretched. You know what I'm saying? So they are definitely too big for me. So I'm getting rid of a dark wash pair. I'm getting rid of a light wash pair. The ones with the zippers. I don't know if you remember those. I'm getting rid of a pair of uh, Fashion Nova jeans. If you watched my Fashion Nova video, you'll know why. Fashion Nova is a hot mess and I will not ever work with them again. Um, I'm also getting rid of this really pretty skirt. I bought this with my own money from Shein a while back. I think this was one of my first ever Shein hauls. So this is a really, really pretty skirt. Um, I just don't wear it. So I'm gonna give it to somebody who is in need. I also have another skirt from Shein that I just never wear. No, this one's from Ewan's, um, but this is what it looks like. It just never did fit properly, but it has this really pretty like uh, laser cutting at the bottom. I just thought it was really nice, but it just doesn't fit me. So I'm going to donate it to somebody who it will. And then I have, excuse me, <laughs> I have a couple of more outfits. This is a jumpsuit from Ewan's. It just never did fit properly. So it has this really pretty like mesh uh, shoulder piece. 
and it, it's really, really short in the crotch. So um, I can give it to somebody who is a little bit on the shorter side. I'm 5'10", so, um, you know, jumpsuits and overalls and stuff are a little bit sketchy for me, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to put this in a different pile for somebody who is shorter. This can be for somebody who's plus sized and neat, and this will be a, a, for somebody who I know is a lot shorter than me. And then the next one is a dress from Ewan's and this is what it looks like. So it has this really pretty mesh um, sleeve right here. This is actually a really pretty dress, but I have a lot of black dresses and I don't need so, so many. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one and I will put it in this other pile. I also have this dress, which I wore several times. And the last time that I wore it, I washed it. Um, and I washed it in hot water and so it shrunk. So it's a little bit too short for me now. So this is what it looks like. This was such a pretty dress though. I do enjoy wearing it. It was the perfect like summer dress. So I'm going to put that in my short person pile. The next thing is from, I think this was from Shein. This was like the embroidery haul. So I had like dresses and stuff that were all embroidered. And this was a shirt that was also embroidered. And I do, I love this shirt. It is so, so pretty, but it's a little bit too small for me in the shoulders. So I'm going to donate that. And then this is a shirt that I picked up from Walmart a while back. And I thought that it was going to be a 2X. Whenever I picked it up, it looked like a 2X. But whenever I got it home and tried it on, I realized that I picked up the wrong size. So I just never did bring it back. So that's going to go in the donate pile. And this one is, I think this was from Ewan's, um, but this was actually a pajama set that whenever I was trying it on for a video, the pants like split up the back. I wish I would have gotten on camera. I thought it would have been really funny, but it's just sort of like a Beetlejuice shirt and pants. I threw the pants away because they, there was no salvaging them. So I'm just going to donate the shirt. And then this is a dress that I picked up from Ewan's and I love this dress. It's that pretty pink velvet. I don't know if y'all remember this. Uh, I think it was like last February or something. It was like a Valentine's style dress. And this is what it looks like. So it's a wrap dress. I'm getting rid of it. It is too hot. I'm perimenopausal. <laughs> so your girl just burns up in that. Next thing is from TJ Maxx. And this is a, um, a heart top. And I just fell in love with this top. It is so, so cute. So it's white with these really pretty red, like polka dotty hearts on here. And I hate to part with this. I feel like I could wear this but I just never reach for it. I just never do. So I'm just going to go ahead and declutter it anyway. Um, cause I want to make room for stuff that I'm going to wear. You know what I'm saying? So the next thing is a thrift store buy that, um, I've gotten actually a lot of use out of. This is a like brown, it kind of reminds me of a seventies plaid, but this is what it looks like. And I did wear this a lot. It's very, very warm. Um, this is a men's style shirt and I actually bought it to um, wear as a costume with something else with this, but I just never did wear it that way. I always would wear this with, um, with jeans or something like that, but I haven't worn it in a while. And the other day, whenever I tried it on, um, my boobs have obviously gotten a lot bigger, so, <laughs> um, it, it just is not a good look. And then I have this vest that, um, I was going to wear as a costume, but just never got around to it. So I'm going to, uh, donate that. And I have a couple more things. So I have this dress. This is from Fashion to Figure. Whenever I did this haul, I legit did not like this dress. I just thought it was a little bit too young and youthful for me because, you know, I'm a 40, I'm almost 41, y'all. So this one was just, it wasn't a good look. So it's this really pretty kind of a sweetheart neckline, spaghetti strap, short dress. And I think that somebody who is younger would absolutely love something like this, but it just wasn't for me. So I'm gonna put that in the other pile. And then I have a couple of other things. I have this George top um, that I picked up from Walmart. It's just a long sleeve George t-shirt top. Um, I don't really wear it that much. I had it in a drawer and whenever I decluttered my drawer last time, um, I, somehow or another it got slipped back in and I don't even know how. So um, two more things. This one is a Shein skirt. I featured this on several videos. And um, I just really don't wear it that much. So I figured that it would go to a really good home. So I'm going to put that in that pile. 
And then finally, I have this shirt. This one is from Fashion to Figure. I have this pink one and I also have another black one. And I just don't wear the pink one very often. I wore it a couple of times in videos, but it is a little bit too revealing in the midriff area. So it's just not, not really my style. Um, I'm okay with showing a little bit of midriff, but this one is just, it's just too high for me. So, but this is what it looks like. And it has this slit that goes down the front of it that you can tie up and then it like really cinches it up. So yeah, that is the final thing that I'm decluttering. Um, I'm going to put these pajamas that I have right here. This, these are the pajamas that I featured in a Walmart haul a couple of days ago. I'm going to put those in my drawers and then I'm also going to declutter this. Um, this was a backpack purse that I picked up from Rose Gal and it is horrible, horrible quality. Like it's really, really bad. So this is something that I will donate to um, a kid or something like that because it's I think a little girl who wants to kind of play around and stuff will really enjoy this and get a lot of, or a teenager or something like that so so I have some stuff that I folded that is over on he, over here on this side that I have to put up in drawers and I have one pair of pants that I'm just gonna get rid of completely I'm gonna throw these away because I don't think that they're donate worthy so these are my official <laughs> filming pants. I have been filming in these pants for the last three years. Every single time that I film, I'm always wearing these pants. Regardless of what I have on top, these are the pants that I'm wearing on the bottom. And I blew out my crotch. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think that's just, at this point, it's a little bit inappropriate for me to be wearing out and about and, you know, do my thing. So, these are from the And One brand. My husband is the one who actually picked these up for me because he knows that I like camo and, you know, camo is my absolute favorite print. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of those. I got my garbage bag right here. And yeah, she's going to chapter 13. All right, y'all. So this is what my somewhat organized closet looks like. I just finished all the shoes. You saw that a couple of minutes ago. So this is what the organized shoes look like. I like to have one pair of shoes facing in and the other one facing out. It just kind of makes everything cohesive in my mind. I have my Walmart slippers at the top. I have my Walmart Uggs right here. I have my collectible Doc Martens over here and then my winter shoes and then you know the stored up shoes and of course a pair of one of my favorite slippers of all time my target moccasins those are so awesome and then this is what the clothes look like so it is a vast improvement from earlier but it's still a work in progress y'all so i have everything organized according to color somewhat so i have like my beiges and stuff and then i have colorful then pinks grays blacks greens browns and then these are all of my coats and jackets so then this is starting to go into the dresses and then more dresses, more dresses, and then of course my formal wear. So yeah, that is what the closet looks like. And then of course my ever dirty ironing board right here. So I have Amos's blanket right here. These are clothes that I have to review next week. I'm gonna do that, so look out for that. So I'm just walking out here with Amos and I just wanted to show y'all how pretty it is today. The fall colors are finally coming in. So I don't know if you can tell, they have like this tree back here that's just a beautiful red color. And then they have this tree. That I'm not really sure if the color is coming across, but it's this gorgeous like mint green that fades into this really bright yellow, orange, and then right at the top, it's like this red color. It's so, so pretty. So, yeah, I wanted to show y'all that. And then, of course, Amos and the chickadees. So, this is the chickens. And um, these are the blondes. So, they are like, you can't sit with us, girls. <laughs> they are very, very prissy and are bossy as can be. Um, this is a golden wine dot. Then, I have a Polish hen right here. She's really, really skittish. And then, my two favorites are these black hens. One has this really gorgeous golden neckline and the other is just all black. And they're so, so pretty. The red hen, she's a good producer of eggs. This is an Easter egger and she's really skittish and weird. I don't know why she's so weird, but she just is. And of course, my baby, my sweet, sweetie pie 
is my piggy Amos. All right, y'all, so I just came inside. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna do some editing. Amos just came in, he is snoring beside me. I don't know if you can hear him, <laughs> but he's snoring beside me. I just turned on the fire. We just got our first official freeze last night, so it's getting quite chillsy outside. Um, I went upstairs, I checked on Lauren, my daughter, the one with the coronavirus, and she's having a pretty bad day today, so that's really concerning. Today is day seven, um, and it's been really like a roller coaster. One day she feels completely normal, the next day she feels rotten. Uh, one day she has no fever, the next day she's got like 100, 101. So it's just kind of been one of those things that's really messing with my mind. So I started getting a sore throat earlier. And it, it immediately, and I don't know if y'all are the same. Let me know in the comment section down below. But as soon as, as soon as my throat starts to hurt, I got really anxious. <laughs> so I think I'm okay though, but it does mess with my head some. So Anyway, I have Amos beside me. I got the fire on. I'm gonna go upstairs and cook in just a little bit. We're making a jambalaya tonight, so a really good Cajun dish. And I might bring y'all along, I might not. I might end it here, I might not, I don't even know. So it just depends on how my throat feels and all that. So yeah, that's what's currently going on. I hope y'all are enjoying yourselves <laughs> i hope this is a, a a decent vlog i don't even know so let me know just let me know if this is something you're interested in look 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 at this big <laughs> he is so happy can you hear him he is just my buddy he's my buddy huh he's just my buddy